And firstly, it's going to be very difficult to help a person directly who doesn't want your assistance. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it's actually in disagreement with free will to help a person who doesn't want your assistance. However, you can pray for them to want your assistance. And most people on earth totally underestimate the power of prayer. What happens with prayer, oftentimes, the way God responds to prayer is He hears signed spirits who are in really, really good condition, often high celestial spirits, to help different people to protect them. So if you know, for example, that a certain person is heavily influenced or potentially could be heavily influenced by a spirit, you can pray for that spirit who's influencing the person. And that spirit will feel your prayer of love for them, which will have a powerful effect on that spirit. And also you can pray for the protection of the person themselves. Now, God will then assign protection to that person, additional protection. However, if the person, through their own free will, doesn't want to accept any assistance, those spirits will have the same limitation that you have, and that is that they won't be able to help very much. Right? All they can do is help by thoughts and, and a few other things. 